In this two-part tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a Revit model into ArcGIS Pro. In part one, we will georeference the model in Revit based on work coordinates and prepare the geometries for ArcGIS Pro. Hey everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge, sharing my BIM and AAC workflows focusing on efficiency. If you're new here, consider subscribing to get more of this type of videos. And by the way, I put timestamps in the description below so you can skip to the part that you need. Let me give you a quick background. 3D Revit features can be read by RGS Pro as multi-patch layers, and that will allow us to take advantage of the analysis tools within RGS Pro. I'll put some links in the description in case you'd like to learn more. So what are some applications? Uh, when converted to a geodatabase, this content is shareable as 3D layers that can be used in a web scene. That in turn will allow us to place this Revit model into an augmented reality environment. Another way to use this Revit data is uh, applications like facilities management, for example. Now let's get the model ready in Revit. If you're trying to import a Revit model into RGS Pro, there are two main tasks that we need to ensure are taken care of. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that the project is uh, geolocated based on a known coordinate system and we want to optimize the model for performance so let's talk about the coordinates first now at some point of the uh, design process hopefully early on you got information as far as coordinates for your Revit model that information is usually obtained from a civil engineer or a surveyor and it basically defines your north, south, and east, west, as well as the elevation and the project orientation. Now, let's go ahead and assign these parameters. So a lot of times when you start a project, your project base point will be located near your building. It's usually, or it could be at one of the corners uh, but in this case, I left mine in this location and you can see that it's just that uh, zero, zero, pretty default uh, location if you haven't assigned coordinates yet. Now, how do we assign these coordinates to that point in particular? The quickest way is probably using coordinates and specify coordinates at a point and select that very point. So let's go ahead and paste the information that we got from our civil engineer. That's north, south, east, west. It's elevation. And finally, orientation. Now hit OK. The model itself didn't physically move. We simply assigned coordinates to that point. Now for the second task, how can we ensure we have good performance within RGS Pro? What we want to do is probably save a copy of this sample project so that we don't interfere with the live file. And once you've done that, I would purge everything that you're not using uh, because RGS Pro will only read a geometry and parameters. Uh, it won't really be concerned with the sheets and views. So purge unused. Of course, we want to select everything hit OK. At this point, it's possible that your model is already small enough, but if it's in the hundreds of megs, I would recommend bringing the file size down as much as you can. Now, this is the sample model from Autodesk, so it's already small to begin with, so it won't be a problem. But in real life, you'll have very large models. Now, I recommend deleting the elements that you don't necessarily want to see, 
like planting families and entourage probably even parking now if you're done deleting those elements if you're satisfied with what you're seeing i would still ensure that you delete all the views you don't need and all the sheets that you don't need now you could do this manually or if you have pi revit installed and if you don't i would recommend you install it it's a free plugin and it's very useful to automate this kind of tasks. In this case, I will use wipe and wipe model components. And this is where you can literally remove everything um, that's essentially not geometry related. Um, just be careful, maybe, uh, you know, go through all these elements. But really, you don't need room separation lines you probably won't need unreferenced views you won't need sheets and scope boxes so i'll go ahead and delete as much as you can of course then you can go ahead and wipe model it may take a while but i assure you it's definitely going to bring the file size down now once that's done uh, you can go ahead and uh, save the file and place it in a designated location that's ready to be used for your RGS Pro project. Let me know if you have any questions and also let me know in the comments below if you have other ways to optimize a Revit model based on file size and complexity. In part two, we will get into RGS Pro and import this Revit model. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.